Well, Afghanistan contributes to just about 0.1% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. But that does not mean that the country is not facing the threat of climate change. In fact, experts say that Afghanistan is one of the countries most vulnerable to climate change. The shift in weather patterns has already taken a toll on the country's sheep, farmers and carpet weavers. We take a closer look. War-torn Afghanistan has a new battle to fight. It's called climate change. The country is reeling under severe drought. Which the UN Development Program says may soon become a norm. Taking the hardest hit are the country's sheep farmers and weavers. Thousands of sheep died in the country's bulk province last year. We haven't seen such a drought in almost 15, 20 years. Most people sold their livestock because there was no grass on the plains and the straw was very expensive. Mirza does not understand climate change, but what he realizes is that things around him are changing. Be it warmer summers or drier days, thousands of people are migrating to more habitable places, leaving their traditional livelihoods behind. <laughs> I've come from the Fryab province because of the war and drought. I have not brought anything and all my things are there. Eighty percent of Afghanistan depends on rain-fed crops and animal farming for their incomes. The country ranks 173rd of 181 when it comes to its vulnerability to climate change and its ability to adapt to it. These numbers appear more convincing when one hears the stories of those feeling the climate change pinch. With more and more sheep dying with every passing year, Wool has become very expensive in Afghanistan. The country's carpet weavers say they are not being able to recover their cost price. We buy a meter of carpet for 50 to 60 dollars, but considering the efforts needed, the weaver makes only 20 to 25 dollars in the end. It takes a month for a woman to weave a meter of carpet. 20 to 25 dollars in a month is not enough even for bread money, and in this situation, people won't weave anymore. The situation is expected to get worse. Scientists predict a decrease in average rainfall over the next four decades in Afghanistan. Temperatures too are expected to rise by four degrees Celsius. Afghanistan does not deserve this, for it produces just 0.1% of the world's greenhouse gases. South Asia Bureau, we own. World is one.